I really started to get into finances when I hit my version of rock bottom. So that was when I had so much debt that I couldn't afford to live. I overdraft my account. I was going into further debt every single month and I knew I needed to make a change. My name is Layla Cartfruch. I'm 28 years old. I make about $81,000 a year and I live in Decatur, Georgia. It was very normal for my family to have debt, so that is something that I carried into adulthood. I was 18, that's when, of course, I took out my first student loans, and at the time I was just living with my dad, and he was the one who was helping me out financially. He did have a little bit of money saved up in a CD account for me to go to college, but I would say it was just a few thousand. After about three years, I realized I no longer wanted to be a dentist. So I decided to stay in the biology field and just decided to go into environmental research. The highest amount of debt that I had was in June 2018, and I reached $82,200. This was made up of my student loans, my car, credit cards, and then money that I owed my sister. It was only in her name, but I did contribute to the down payment, so that's where some of my student loans came in. Unfortunately, in 2015, I decided to co-sign a car with somebody I was in a relationship with at the time. And things were good for some time, but ultimately this turned into the worst financial mistake I've ever made. I cried a lot. It was just very stressful overall. I did end up taking this person to court. I was garnishing their wages at one point, so I took a loss on that one, but I'm so grateful that that is no longer in my life anymore. I would say that I have a bit of an obsession with finances, so I'm constantly on my spreadsheets or checking my bank accounts. To me, it's not stressful, that's just normal and what I prefer to do, but I could definitely see how other people can perceive that as a problem. I do believe it's important to invest while paying off debts. So the bulk goes to my debt, and then I do put about $300 per month toward my Roth IRA. And then the last area is my 401k. So with my new job, I will be contributing 6%, and then they match that 6%. I would say I spend about $400 per month or so on groceries these days just because the prices have gone up, but also because I purchase organic produce primarily now just for health purposes. I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease in early October and things kind of just got worse from there. Overall, being diagnosed with this and just having the most physically and mentally painful year of my life really shifted how I look at life. So the small problems that I would face on a daily basis don't seem so big anymore. And to me, it's just about my health and I wanna prioritize being healthy. I probably was 21 and I started lifting in the gym and with that your body really transforms and I became really interested in just health fitness overall but also I liked the mental benefit from it. Hey everyone, so I hope you guys like my new scenery. 
I love doing my eyebrows. So this is a NYX nude matte shadow called Betrayal. I graduated with my master's in biology in December 2016 and I actually wanted to become self-employed or an entrepreneur. I wanted to take my blogging full-time and my YouTube channels. I have quite a few side hustles. I do have two YouTube channels now, one focused on finances and then one for my just lifestyle. And then I also have two blogs based on the same topics. In 2021, I made over $15,000 from everything. I do expect that to grow for 2022 and going forward. I did do a no spend year in 2020, which helped a lot with my journey, but overall I just got a lot tighter with my budget. So I made sure to keep track of every dollar that went in, every dollar that went out. I don't always stick 100% to my budget. I actually never do, but it's very important for me to keep somewhat of a structure. So I'm keeping my spending in check and I definitely know where I want to spend my money, what I want to prioritize in my life to make me happy. By the time I'm 30, I should be debt-free in regards to my student loans and everything else. I would like to purchase some property, whether that's for myself to live in or to flip or to rent. I do want to be financially independent overall, probably by 40 to 45. The most important lesson that I learned about money is that you should always do your own research. You have to do what is best for you and based off of your own knowledge and decisions.